Hi welcome back to my movie recaps. In this video I will summarize one of the films entitled Labor Day on 2013. Spoilers ahead watch out and take care. At the beginning of the film, we will be introduced to a mother named Adele and her son, Henry. We can see that both of them seem to be having a pretty happy life together. Adele is a single mother after her husband named Gerald decided to marry another woman. After their divorce, Gerald always asks Henry to live with him, but Henry doesn't want to leave his mother alone because his mother is doing great. Adele, on the other hand, doesn't mind about Gerald's marriage and decides to accept her ex-husband's decision with grace. In fact, she has now lost the sense of love, which makes her pensive and lonely all of the time. The new semester is about to start, where Henry begins to prepare his school supplies and attire. Since the pants are no longer fit, Adele and Henry decide to go to town to buy him new pants. While Adele is at the supermarket shopping for clothes, Henry approaches her and asks for permission to go to the comic section on the back shelf of the store. At this age, Henry appears to be more interested in adult magazines. While he is viewing the comic books, a man with a suspicious condition suddenly approaches him and asks for his assistance. This guy's name is Frank, and he asks Henry to give him a ride because he is bleeding. Frank then takes Henry to his mother. At first, Adele feels very suspicious of him and refuses to comply with his request. But since Frank poses a slight threat, Adele is forced to follow his request. Frank then asks Adele to drive him to her house, since he has no intention of stopping by. As they arrive at Adele's house, she offers Frank a cup of coffee while keeping the knife in her pocket. Frank then tries to confess to Adele and Henry that he actually just escaped from prison. He escaped by jumping from the second floor of the hospital while undergoing an appendectomy. At this point, Frank intends to stay until the evening while waiting for his injured leg to recover. He also plans to wait for the train to pass before attempting to hitch a ride away from their place. After hearing this, Adele tries to be firm with Frank, telling him not to hurt herself or Henry, even though it's hard to believe that he would. Soon after, they see the news about Frank's escape which begins to spread through media and on television. Henry sees it and he asks Adele if it is against the law to hide a fugitive. Adele who is worried and scared, responds that everything will be fine because Frank will only be hiding for a few hours before continuing on his run. Frank realizes what he's doing and says that if someone stops by, he will pretend to kidnap them so that Adele doesn't get caught by the law. Therefore, Frank ties Adele to a chair as a preparation so that it doesn't appear that they are plotting to hide the fugitive. Actually the knot that is used on Adele could have been untied by herself, but she doesn't want to let it go considering their current situation. After tying her up, Frank prepares a meal for Adele, with a portion of the meal reserved for Henry. In the middle of the night, Henry awakens from his sleep and notices that Frank has let his mother to sleep in her bed, but he still tied her up. It turns out that Frank is still in the house and has fallen asleep downstairs. The following morning, Frank helps Adele with all of the housework, including fixing the stairs, cleaning the house, changing the car's oil and replacing the furnace filter. After that, he teaches Henry a good way to play baseball. Adele and Henry appear to be yearning for a husband's and father's caress at this time, which actually comes from a fugitive from prison. While Adele is sewing Frank's pants, they suddenly hear a loud knock on the door. Frank immediately tells Henry to say that his mother is not at home. When Henry opens the door, it turns out to be their neighbor. He stops by to bring them some peaches, while reminding Henry to be careful in the current situation. After that, Frank comes up with an idea to make a pie out of quite a lot of peaches. It is during this time that Henry and Adele grow closer to Frank. Plus, Frank teaches them how to bake one by one in a very calm manner. While enjoying their pie in the evening, Frank gives Adele a little touch. It makes Adele feel so comfortable that she leans her head on Frank's shoulder. But they suddenly hear the sound of a police car passing in front of Adele's house. This makes Frank realize that he has to leave them at that moment. But Adele and Henry instead stop him, and Adele tells Frank to stay until the wound is completely dried. The next day, Henry sees Frank cleaning the roof of his house while Adele prepares coffee for him. He also fixes the wooden planks on the stairs, fixes the door hinges, and replaces the car tires. Regular tasks that are usually carried out by the head of the family. After that, Henry is told to go to the supermarket and buy groceries. In the supermarket, he meets a girl named Eleanor who has recently moved to this town. Eleanor then asks him what she could possibly do in this town. After he buys the groceries, Henry immediately returns home, but he forgets to close the door properly. Soon after, their neighbor named Evelyn suddenly enters their house, causing Henry to panic. It turns out that Evelyn needs to leave her son, Barry, to Adele because she has an emergency things. 
Adele initially refuses because she is concerned that Barry will find out about Frank's appearance. But Evelyn keeps insisting on it and Adele is forced to accept her request. Since Barry is disabled and can't communicate normally, Frank doesn't mind showing himself to Barry. Plus, he also brings Barry to play baseball with him behind the house. He trains Henry as well as Adele on how to hit a baseball right. Adele's body is frequently trembling with tremors, which makes it difficult for her to hold the baseball bat. But Frank continues to help Adele until she manages to hit the baseball. As they watch television at night, they see the news about Frank again. At this moment, Barry appears to be a little taken aback by the fact that Frank is an escaped police prisoner. Evelyn has finally returned and wants to pick up her son. As expected, Barry keeps trying to tell his mother that Frank is there. After Evelyn and Barry return home, Henry overhears Adele and Frank's discussing their plans to travel together to Canada. The next morning, Adele and Frank ask Henry to go to the library to borrow a book about the country of Canada. While in the library, Henry meets Eleanor once more, who turns out to have recently moved from Chicago. Plus, she's moved because of an eating disorder and her parents think that the new school environment will help. But according to her, her mom is actually only wants to get rid of her so that she can fool around with her boyfriend. Henry then tells the story of Frank, who appears to have a story that is almost similar to the girl's. As she hears his story, Eleanor persuades Henry to get rid of Frank because Frank might take his fallen and love mother and leave Henry alone. As he gets home, Henry starts to feel down and he notices a newspaper with a $10,000 reward for whoever finds Frank. In the evening, his father takes him out to dinner with his new family. When Henry returns home, he sees Frank and Adele are dancing together. Adele informs him that they will be relocating to Canada and start a new life there. When Henry heard those words, he immediately thinks of Eleanor's has said. He thinks that his mother would leave him, but her mother assures him that she will never do that. Adele informs that Henry will have to leave school and not to tell anyone about this. The following morning, they start packing their belongings in preparation for their upcoming move to Canada. Frank discovers Adele's family album and Henry then asks permission to go out for a while. It turns out that Henry goes to see Eleanor, where he tells her about his move tomorrow. Eleanor then kisses Henry, as if she couldn't bear the thought of having to say goodbye to him. Adele, on the other hand, is concerned because Frank's wound gets infected, which makes it difficult for him to walk. When Adele decides to go buy some medicine, she looks nervous, where she begins to tell her past story to Frank. After Henry was born, Adele and Gerald planned to have a second child. But they always failed because Adele often miscarried until she was unable to become pregnant again. That's what made Gerald decide to leave Adele and start a new family with someone else. As a result, she stops going for a walk and cannot leave the house. Adele feels sorry for Frank because she can't give him a family, but Frank says that she has already given him one. We also learn why Frank was imprisoned here. Frank shares that he was a military soldier who rarely returned home and that he had a wife named Mandy. Their marriage was very fragile because Mandy often cheated on him with other people and had children. One day, Frank finally found out that the child that Mandy gave birth to was not his. This of course made Frank angry and he pushed Mandy, which caused her to accidentally bump and die. Henry also couldn't accept the fact that Mandy had let her son to drown in the bathtub. The following day, on the day they will be relocating, Henry writes a letter to tell his father that they are moving to Canada. On his way home, Henry is approached by the police who offer to take him home. In order to avoid being suspected, Henry is forced to return home with the police. When they arrive at the house, Adele is shocked to see Henry coming home with the officer. The police officer is a little curious as he notices a lot of stuff in her car. Adele says they are going through their belongings and getting rid of what they don't need. Frank is watching from above and he immediately hides when he sees the police officer comes in to help them. After the police officer has left, Frank asks Adele and Henry to go to the bank to withdraw their preparation money. Unfortunately, while Frank is swapping out the menthol lamp, Evelyn suddenly burst into the house. She comes to bring food as a thank you to Adele for taking care of her son before. At this point, Frank realizes that his situation has already in danger because the news about him has spread everywhere, but he can no longer do anything. Evelyn also looks a bit shocked when she notices his present. Frank then takes the food and says that he is just a handyman who came to fix some damage. After withdrawing their money from the bank they immediately return home. But as Henry and Adele get home, they have no time to do anything because they start to hear the sound of police sirens is getting closer to their house. They realize that someone has leaked Frank's whereabouts to the police. 
marriage was very fragile because Mandy often cheated on him with other people and had children. One day, Frank finally found out that the child that Mandy gave birth to was not his. This of course made Frank angry and he pushed Mandy, which caused her to accidentally bump and die. Henry also couldn't accept the fact that Mandy had led her son to drown in the bathtub. The following day, on the day they will be relocating, Henry writes a letter to tell his father that they are moving to Canada. On his way home, Henry is approached by the police who offer to take him home. In order to avoid being suspected, Henry is forced to return home with the police. When they arrive at the house, Adele is shocked to see Henry coming home with the officer. The police officer is a little curious as he notices a lot of stuff in her car. Adele says they are going through their belongings and getting rid of what they don't need. Frank is watching from above and he immediately hides when he sees the police officer comes in to help them. After the police officer has left, Frank asks Adele and Henry to go to the bank to withdraw their preparation money. Unfortunately, while Frank is swapping out the menthol lamp, Evelyn suddenly bursts into the house. She comes to bring food as a thank you to Adele for taking care of her son before. At this point, Frank realizes that his situation has already in danger because the news about him has spread everywhere, but he can no longer do anything. Evelyn also looks a bit shocked when she notices his present. Frank then takes the food and says that he is just a handyman who came to fix some damage. After withdrawing their money from the bank they immediately return home. But as Henry and Adele get home, they have no time to do anything because they start to hear the sound of police sirens is getting closer to their house. They realize that someone has leaked Frank's whereabouts to the police. Following that, Frank immediately pretends to kidnap Adele and Henry so that both of them would not be prosecuted. Frank believes it's likely that they will meet again in another 20 years. Adele and Henry burst into tears as they realize their efforts have been in vain. In the end, Frank surrenders himself to the police. After the incident, Adele and Henry go to the prosecutor's office to request that Frank's sentence be reduced and explain that he never hurt them. But they are informed by the prosecutor that the confession is not required to be recorded. This is due to the possibility that Adele will be subjected to legal action and will lose custody of Henry. After that, Frank is still sentenced to 10 years in prison for escaping and 15 years for kidnapping. Within a month, Adele who's in depressive state, voluntarily relinquishes custody of Henry to his father. Henry occasionally visits to see Adele, but Adele would always act busy and distracted. As the time passed, Henry grows up and he joins his school's baseball team. He finally has someone he can call girlfriend for the first time. At this age, he begins to apply what Frank had previously taught him. Henry now owns a bakery where he sells pies that are inspired by the recipe Frank taught him. His pie is currently in high demand on the market as well. Until one day, he receives a letter from Frank who has recognized his pie. Frank explains that he found an article about Henry's pie and is very proud to see a picture of Henry on it. Frank tells Henry that he will be free soon and promises Henry that he will not cause Adele any sorrow. On the day of his release, Frank is greeted cheerfully at the prison gates by Adele, who is aging just like him. They then hug and cry as a sign of relief that their 20 years of waiting is finally over.